we have to think about is that how do we set up the infrastructure for JDI in any organization? Now, like Sahar, you said that a large organizations will obviously have more resources to be able to set up that technology infrastructure well, right? It, 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 will, it will probably be one of the top cloud platforms. Now, are you playing with Microsoft Azure? Are you playing with uh, GCP? Or are you playing with uh, AWS? I think it will that will be integral to the strategy for basically setting up the technology infrastructure in which then you can start developing your Gen AI use cases, uh, you know, for various purposes. Uh, the second thing to think about is that a lot of this is probably going to move from CapEx to OpEx, right? So, so it will be for the organizations that really can't afford a large capital investment, uh, they, can, they can use it on uh, OpEx basis, they can, they can subscribe to uh, secure, scalable, with part of my service, which can give them the use case that they are seeking. So I think we will see a wide variety of approaches in this particular case. The other thing, uh, let's not forget is that it's not completely demonstrated yet, but there is definitely productivity savings which happen when you adopt Gen AI. Now, uh, reports will talk of as large as 40% productivity savings. You know, real life examples are showing sometimes 10% productivity savings. Now that does translate into budgets, back into budgets because now you have the same bunch of people being more productive. So obviously you are saving, you know, resources or saving money in, in that fashion. So I, yeah. yeah, I think this is one more point. I think it's, it also depends on, as you said, um, about infrastructure. You have to make sure that you have to expertise um, aligned with the, with the whole system setup. Because I think a lot of expertise um, right now are in IT, and you can put, put all the burden of implementing an AI solution on the IT team of the hardware system. I think they need, we need to have more uh, people involved in this. And, well, it's a really interesting point around the balance between AI implementation as a, as a technology implementation and AI implementation as a workflow redesign, and really reimagining how we how our organizations do work. And what that means is that 